This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be taking a look at my top 10 games for that are going to be coming out at Gen Con. Now, let me make something perfectly clear. This list is based on things that will either be at Gen Con, physically where you can buy them, because I always like to do things. Nobody wants to... I'll be honest with you. Do you really care about hearing something that might come out in 2023 or 2024? Uh, why would you play a demo of something and go, oh my god, uh, this is the greatest game, I want to have this now, and you can't have it for another two years. I, I, couldn't, I can never stand that. That's why I would just ignore it, because I know I would probably like it, and then want it right now. So, I, when I make these lists, I always make them with things that are going to be out within 60 days or 60 to 90 days, or are going to be at Gen Con. Uh, there are some fantastic honorable mentions that I will that I have already that that I kind of want to mention that you want to check out at Gen Con and I'll do that right now. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to want to take a look at it's supposed to be out at the end of the year is uh, Star Realms. Oh, no, actually in 2023 they're saying uh, January Star Realms Rise of the Empire. Star Realms. I love Star Realms. Uh, D&D &D Onslaught looks very interesting. That's coming out in 2023. Uh, that has caught my eye, but I'm not going to pay attention to it because it's not going to be out for a while. Uh, G.I. Joe the Miniature Game looks really fantastic from a company that I really, really like a lot and always have, and they always have, every Gen Con, they have killed it. And when I was with BGG, having Terry come to the, uh, uh, the, to the, to the booth and being able to interview her and and talk about all the stuff that Renegade does, what a fantastic company! Uh, GI Joe miniature game. Not to mention that one of the uh, a couple of other things are on this big list. Old Sworn, our boys from Shadowborn are going to be there. Maybe they'll have a couple copies. You may want to run to that booth first. So find out where they are in Gen Con and run over there quickly uh, when the gates open. Uh, let's see, uh, Van Ryder Games has a game that I, I don't think is going to be out till the end of the year, and that's Dark Mage. I'm really fascinated by that as well. Uh, so there you go. Th those are some honorable mentions. But let's talk about the things that are supposed to be there. And starting off with the fantastic Renegade Games. Uh, G.I. Joe the Deck Builder? Really? Really? I mean, count me not, count me in at number 10 with G.I. Joe, the deck builder. I mean, if that's busting out, hopefully it will show up at Miniature Market uh, the same day as it releases. Uh, we're really look, I'm really looking forward to it, and that is going to be in my cart for sure. I can promise you that. At number 9 is a game that caught my eye, and, and a lot of this I pulled from, from the Board Game Geek list. So um, it's just stuff that I kind of knew within the business and a majority of it was just going through that list and watching everybody. Uh, companies, put, that, put your stuff up on that list. You don't realize how many people go through that board game geek list and kind of plan out their, their travels by going, okay, well, you know something? Uh, I'm going to go to that booth because this looks really good. And at number nine is one of those games, Ready, Set, Bet. Horse racing, betting. Count me in. Count me in. Anytime I can play a horse racing game like that, uh, I, yeah, definitely, definitely in. At number eight from our good friends at Everything Epic Games is uh, The Librarians. Even though I, I believe it's fulfilling right now, they will have it at... Uh, Gen Con. So if you want to get it, make sure you get there early. This is a tremendous game based on the TV show and is going to be just 
glorious. Uh, I did the review for this uh, when it was going to Kickstarter and I have been anxiously awaiting to get my hands on this. I believe it'll be at Miniature Market uh, soon after. For those of you that are, aren't going to Gen Con, you're going to want to keep an eye on this and learn as much as you can, uh, especially at Gen Con. At number seven, Van Ryder Games has been killing it, and I do mean killing it. Uh, uh, last, uh, the final girl. <laughs> Thank you, Kabuki. Fantastic game, glorious. Uh, Space Brigade, uh, yeah, uh, definitely on my radar. Uh, Van Ryder Games, Space Brigade. Uh, supposedly supposed to be there. Now, you can't quote me on all this. I'm only going by what the site says. At number six, it's actually a Games Workshop game, and that's Lost Relic, Warhammer Quest Lost Relic. A small box game, one of those games that is going to be like a, um, a Barnes & Noble and things like that, but I believe you'll be able to get a look at it at Gen Con, and this makes it one of those games that you have to go check out. They may even have some copies for sale uh, with, with, with the mighty... Uh, War, uh, games Workshop. This game looks good. It looks like a simplified, uh, a smaller version of, of Warhammer Quest, the newer version, of course. But what makes it kind of special is that it's small enough that if you got smaller kids with the snap fit, I really think that it's something that you can work them into and go from there. At number five is Planet Unknown. Uh, the universe, city building, you know, uh, a 4X type of, I don't think, I wouldn't call it so much a 4X game, but a game that definitely looks uh, really glorious. It will be at Gen Con. Uh, it's one of those ones that's on my radar and I'm, I'm very excited about. The more I tend to learn about it, um, um, you are, you know, of course, it's a two player game, which now fits right into this channel. And it's something I'm really looking forward to. At number four, when you have dexterity and zombies together, count me in. And World Z League uh, really looks to be one of those games that are just going to be special. Uh, I, I, I'm a sucker for for dexterity flick games. I really liked Flick Em Up. My kids hated it. Go figure out. But um, there are just some things here that just really look glorious with this and I can't wait to get my hands on it. And uh, this is just one of those games I have to have. And World Z League is one of those. At number three is a Richard Launius game. And I was surprised to find out that uh, Richard was kind enough to name a track after Rob's tabletop world in this game. And that's not why it's number three. I did the review and I also interviewed Richard about this game and that is Thunder Rolls. Uh, pfft, Richard makes great games. He has a passion for NASCAR and if he's doing a race game, uh, let me tell you something. I've got to make sure I get myself a copy of this, and I think you should too. This, uh, from from what I've seen, that it's rolled out to the backers already, and people are loving it. I I I I, I bet my bottom dollar it will be at Gen Con. So make sure you get yourself a copy of this, uh, and really, 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 I think this is going to be glorious for sure. Uh, again. Richard doesn't make bad games, ever. At number two is a game that completely blew me away. And you're going to see the review on it a little later in the week. And that is my father's work. This, Renegade Games. I mean, come on, from Power Rangers to G.I. Joe miniature game, G.I. Joe deck builder, and my father's work. I, I... This year has been a year that has just been special as far as games coming out. You know, I, I think of Oathsworn, uh, Burn Cycle, Stars of Akaros, uh, my father's work, uh, expansions for uh, Escape from the Dark Sector. Uh, just so much great stuff has hit. And I, I don't mean good, I mean great. 
and my father's work has blown me completely out of the water. Uh, it's up for game of the year in my mind. And um, I just, I'm just completely blown away by this fantastic experience. And uh, I've been really enjoying it a lot. Check my review out later in the week. And if you can, get over to Renegade Games as quickly as you can and get uh, procure yourself a copy of this fantastic game. But my number one game, I am a huge sucker for Hero Quest. There is no doubt about that. And Frozen Horror, uh, adding on to what is already what Hasbro has really done and done a fantastic job. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this, to adding on to my Hero Quest. Uh, they have done a fantastic job with this, bringing back this classic. Hey. GW, take a lesson from this. You can make money off old games. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can make a lot. You can print money with with older games. Yes, it can really help out your stockholders. Yes, GW, take a lesson from here from Hasbro. Okay. They are doing a fantastic job bringing HeroQuest to a new generation. And a lot of companies should do that with some of their classics. Bring them back to life. Breathe some life into them. Add some newer content. Add a little twist here and there. And, uh, uh, you know, a good formula never spoils. A good formula never spoils. So there you have it, my top 10 games that I'm looking forward to that are going to be releasing at Gen Con or a little bit afterwards or a little bit beforehand. But these are the ones that if you are going, I really feel that you should keep your eye on because these are a lot of very, very special games that I think, in my, my humble opinion, I uh, think are going to be um, really set 2022 apart from the last couple of years for sure so until next time for all of you going to gen con enjoy yourselves have a great time i will be sitting right here waiting for you to come back and hear all the stories until next time it's your old pal rob saying we'll see you soon this everybody. video is brought to you by miniature market thousands of board games miniatures and paints discount prices at miniaturemarket.com